Hello out there, it's Tony again at Fisher Buggies in Tampa, Florida. Uh, our next little helpful segment we want to do is compression test. Uh, the reason why we do compression tests is because if the compression is not there, it's not going to run right no matter what you do to it. Um, it's something that should be done probably every other tune-up, if not every tune-up. Um, again, without it, it won't run right. We're going to use a couple simple tools today. We have a 13 16 socket, that's for your spark plug, an extension and a ratchet, and we have a compression tester at the head end, we're going to need 14 millimeter threads. You can usually rent these from the local parts place. I'm sure a buddy has one, or you can buy them for relatively cheap. When doing your compression test, it doesn't matter what cylinder you start on, it just matters that you do all four. Um, preferably, you want to do one at a time. You don't want to get your plug wires crossed. Then it'll be out of, the firing order will be out of whack, and, and it won't run right either. So I'm just going to start with number two, because it's closest to me. Pull your plug wire off. Your socket on the spark plug, and we're gonna break the spark plug loose. Get it out of the way here. And the next step is gonna be to thread in the compression tester. Then we'll roll it over, and we're gonna see what we get out of it. I've got my compression testers screwed into the cylinder that I'm working on, number two, like I was saying. But before I do anything else, I want to make sure I have the power wire going to the coil disconnected. Otherwise, it's going to try to start. And if the spark plug, layer, spark plug wire is laying close enough to me, it's going to zap me. So with the coil disconnected, my compression tester plugged in, I'm going to roll the motor over. Now, as you roll it over, you'll see the needle bounce. That's when the cylinder is coming up, valves are closed, that's when everything's happening. Usually bounce probably five, six times it'll stop and that's 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 your reading for that cylinder yeah by the sixth rollover it, it's it's good to go i'm sitting at 130 pounds on number two cylinder okay now i buttoned it all back up and the compression that i got across the board was 130. i expected that it's it's a newer motor um Warning signs would be, say you have 130, 130, 125, and then 90. That, that's why you're testing compression. That lets you know what's going on with the top end of the motor. If you were at that point, you'd have a problem. Um, first thing you would check is your valves. Make sure your head isn't leaking where the jug meets it. That's, those are the reasons you'll lose compression. But when it runs that, when, it, when the compression numbers are running like that, it's, it's not going to be a very smooth running engine, if at all. Um, you want a general rule of thumb, five to 10 pounds within each other. You know, it could be 150 as long as they're all close. Uh, it could be 120 as long as they're all close. If you're getting 110 and down, you're getting low. Hope this video helps. Um, if not, please give us a call. Uh, make comments. Ask us any more questions. If you need more details, we're always here to help. Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30. Saturday, we're here until 3, from 9 to 3 on Saturdays. Also, check out our website, uh, www.fisherbuggies.com. You can email us through there. You can actually shop on there. Um, we have a clearance section that we're, changing, we're updating every day, adding new stuff just for blowouts. So check us out. Again, thanks for watching.